Hi. Remember, English is difficult to learn, so no matter what you do, don't give up. Just keep trying. Don't worry if you make mistakes. Don't worry if somebody insults you about your English skill. Everybody learns languages differently and at different rates. So just keep trying and you will get better and better. One of the things I recommend is you keeping flashcards on you like this. This one has lines on one side and it's blank on the other side. You can take this card and cut it in half and on one side you can write the sound you're working on like SH. So you can pull the card out, look at it and say shh. Then on the other side you can have some words and phrases Hopefully the words will have the sound at the beginning, the middle, and the end of words. And the same with phrases. And you say those phrases. And if you do that three times a day, once in the morning, <coughs> once in the afternoon, yeah, no. and once at night, And if you do that for about two to three weeks, you will get the sound. Your brain will be almost forced to remember that. So it's a simple thing to do, and it doesn't take long. We're talking about one or two minutes for each time you review with your flashcard. So no matter where you are at work or at school or whatever you do with your life, you can take two minutes out to practice your sounds. Uh, another thing that I recommend is creating an image in your mind. So, for example, with this shh, if this is hard for you, create a vivid image in your mind. And what I mean by that is pretend you're at an opera and your best friend Pavarotti is going out on stage and you're on the balcony and you can't believe that all these people down below are talking so you need to make them quiet very fast or there's going to be a problem so you lean over the balcony and you with all your might you say shh and then you see all those people down there and they're very embarrassed and they're like oh oh mm, sorry you know and you save the day and then you sit back on your chair and you relax and you say to yourself yes my shh really worked create an image your mind remembers the image. If after two weeks you find that you're still having problems with this sound or any sound you're working on for that matter, this is what I recommend. Use flashcards again, but for example, if you're working on the SH sound, shh, write some new words on the card. In other words, make a new flashcard with some new words and some new phrases. Because it probably means your mind needs to be exposed to more vocabulary. Your brain has been very used to saying certain words a certain way for years. And it doesn't want to change. So if you're still having difficulty after two weeks, make new flashcards with the same sound, adding new vocabulary. If you expose your mind to more vocabulary and different phrases, then your mind will get it. And keep following that pattern. You maybe do that for a week and then change to some new words and some new phrases. This is really a small time commitment. So I want to make sure that's clear. I don't want you to think this is going to take a lot of your time and be a hassle. To make a flashcard probably takes about a minute or two and 
like I said before, when you review it, you just review it three times a day for about one or two minutes each time. So it's, it's nothing where you have to sit down and study for an hour or two, no. It's, it's about repetition and it's about breaking a habit so that your mind can get used to something new. That's all. So give that a try. More on images to remember pronunciation. The more wild, crazy, absurd the image is in your mind, the easier it will be for your brain to remember it. So, the image I gave earlier of the opera situation, that was just an idea, but it was more of a simple image, although it would probably work. But you can make it much more interesting. You could make it much more personal. So, here's a little bit of a uh, stranger image that you may find easier to remember. And remember, you can make any image you want for any sound you want. And you could attach words to this image. Uh, you could really go far with it, but I'm trying to keep, keep things simple, so we'll stick with this. So think of two people who don't know how to kiss. Okay, we're working on the SH sound. Shh. Okay, they don't know how to kiss. It's their first time. So they're very awkward and nervous. You know, you could see, I don't know, some, some guy and a girl you know. And they're so nervous, they are talking too much. Each one is talking because they're so nervous about this. And at the same time, they look at each other to make each other quiet. And they look at each other and they go, shh, like that. So when they're shushing each other, they keep doing it so strong, shh, that their lips get very close, shh, boom. <laughs> and then they start kissing, okay? Make it, like I said before, make it to people you know. It'll, your brain will remember that. Or, if you really want your brain to remember that, make it two girls you know. I hope that doesn't get me in trouble. But anyway, I think that image will stick in your brain even more. Remember, this is private. This is personal. You don't have to tell anybody about your image. What you're concerned about is getting your pronunciation right getting your mind to change its habit and this might work for you anyway thanks for listening to my story i'll see you next time <laughs>